got a question for you. Who's your favourite stand-up comedian? So, for me, it's a bit of a difficult one. Because, uh, again, this is one of my kind of uh, passions. And, you know, I've watched loads and loads of stand-up comedy in my time. I've been to see... Well, I've been to see... I've been to see Chris Rock. I've been to see Russell Peters. I've been to see uh, Russell Brand. Peter Kay. Um, Nicky Flanagan. Michael McIntyre, so, yeah, so loads. Yeah, I can, I can, I can keep on naming them, and so, so, think about your favorite sort of comedian. Now imagine them. You're at a gig, and they're on form. They aren't. They're on. They're they're coming out with their best lines, um, and you know it's this flowing and everything's just bang on point, but no one's laughing. Hmm. Then, so they see that no one's laughing. So what they do is, oh, they, okay, maybe it's this new stuff. What they do is they go back to their classic material that they know has got laughs in the past. And they keep doing it. And still no one laughs. What would you think? You'd think, hmm, uh, you know, uh, maybe you think, if you haven't ever seen the guy before, this guy's a flop, or he's no good, or he's not doing that well. Um, that's You'd think that like, he's really struggling, he's like... Uh, he thought he, he, performance is like he's bombing basically or what you could think is that he's in a, a foreign country where nobody, nobody understands him he, you know uh, he, he, nobody is understanding his, the language he's speaking and so that's why they're not laughing and this is the mistake that a lot of people make with their product they actually have a very good product or they have a good service but they they're thinking, oh no, no one's buying, no one's buying, no one's buying. What the 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 problem actually might not be the and so what they do is that they actually then try and improve and iterate and they keep making all these tweaks and then they put discounts on and but they're struggling to they're still struggling to sell. Uh, what the problem might be is not the product itself. It might be that the audience you're trying to aim for is completely the wrong audience. They, 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 you know just. Um, it might be that actually it's much better fit elsewhere. So just um, um, food for thought, really. That just it might not be the problem that you think it's a problem. Just to think sort of outside the box and keep tweaking the audience because it might be that someone else um, finds a need for your your product much more than what you thought was was good. Uh, an example of this is actually we were selling a, a lamp. And we thought that the market that would most be interested in it was um, people who are sort of tech conscious and because um, it was like a, like a smart lamp and stuff. It would be like people who are very into gadgets and stuff. And so we, we you know, we we're pushing it out and doing all the ads and all that kind of stuff. And what we realized is the people who are actually buying it were um, plus 40 year olds and you know, people who are who are interested more in in health, so it was quite a, quite an interesting thing. But if we had if we hadn't tried different audiences, we could have written that first product off as oh no, it's a flop and it's never going to work. So yeah, just a, a bit of a uh, food for thought really.